Hi, my name is Polo, uh, Paul Sam Ramosaya. I'm from Malaita, Ferasimi village, Ambe, that was in East Malaita. Art is part of our family. My grandmother used to sew weave baskets with intricate designs on it, so that's like, it's more like a family thing. And on my mama's side and on my mother's side, she's a traditional cell money maker. She weaves necklaces and uh, shell money from the Langalanga people and also back at Fataleka, where my grandfather is from and my papa is from. And we make weapons with intricate designs on it and uh, on the footballs, things that we use in the past. So like art is like been with me since times past, long time ago. So that's how I became an artist. I feel that art, like since art is part of me and part of our life, daily life, I think the significant thing about art for Solomon Islands and for me personally is that it keeps you attached to your roots. So many things from the past where we don't we don't really like know you can get it from the art like by from doing continually practicing art you keep it going because in Solomon Islands we only do oral traditions by word from mouth to another person then from that person to another person. So the significant thing about art is that it keeps certain stories to go down. Like orally you can keep things, but like if it's recorded in something tangible, then you will, you will really have a good story to tell. Like it's more like a mnemonic, like by looking at this art or this piece of artifact, then you will know that, oh, it had a story behind it and the designs within the artifact or the, the baskets or the shell money or whatever you presented in your art, it will remind you of certain stories from the past. This piece is called Cap Cap. It's common in Malaita, where I'm from, in the Central Islands and the Western province. This piece here is, I'm, I'm doing this piece from an old traditional cap cap dish that usually stays on the head ornament of a chief. But like with this piece, I'm breaking it in two panels. And the, the colors of the background, the different colors just reflect the different people within Solomon Islands. And this this key represents unity or power from some person higher. And I'm breaking it too, cause like now, Decisions is like we have two people, like the local government, which is mainly deal with chief, people from the clan, and we have the people from the government. So that's what I was trying to express through my art here, the cap cap. And as you can see from the from the designs, at the end, like this one, it reflects the frigate bird. And frigate bread usually represents storm, or it tells you in advance there's, there's something coming. So usually when the chief talks, he talks about things that would eventuate or come in the future. So that's what <coughs> happened at the end, end of the, because usually when the chief talks, the end reflects the means. And the intricate designs inside is just a reflection of the hermit crop that two different designs on the sun. And usually if you see people back in the village, they always find comfort or find solace in by walking in the sun. And that's, that's what they always came across when they walk on the sun in the dawn or in the evening. They usually came across the different designs. So as you can see the eyes at the end, if you can block it from this one, you know, it reflect the eyes of the ego. So it means authority, organization, and, at the, and as well as it get comfort. So that's the role of the chief. But 
now I'm trying to express it in a two in a different settings like the local government and the the present government in the like big city life and what I was trying to express is like to bring them together to link them so that they could give one good meaning to the people and the present generation. This is my next piece. This is just like a tribute to the local musicians in Solomon. It's a figure of a man with a pan flute. It's called Au. And Au is for bamboo flute. I'm doing it on tapa. We call it makutolo, on the back cloth. The drops just reflect tears or crying of the, the musician when he chants and he tried to sing away sorrows, try to tell or lament about what he struggles about. And the different markings on the different parts of the musician just reflect different parts that like music, if you do it back home, we go, we, we go, we, we go like this, you can make different sounds from your body and your movements like, like this and you go with the flute. So that's what I was trying to explain. And this one is also on a tapa, this artwork here. It's called Oliwela. It's Oliwela means carrying of a child. And this artwork, I'm just trying to express the, the daily struggles of the local woman of Solomon Island, the local woman back home. And the different rings or markings at the different points of the, the figure just re reflected the stress that the woman daily feels. So that's what usually happens for the woman in Solomon Islands. They are the most hardworking people. I like to give back something to, especially to our mummies back home, to our grannies. So this piece is more like a dedication to them. I'm going to my last and final piece. Yeah, my piece here is titled Launiasi and half cup cup. There's a big semicircle there, that's the cup cup. And this one is a breast ornament from Koyo. But I'm um, putting a little bit of brown and all these things inside. The, the status of different people in the village is now fading out. Even the decision of the chief is more like half. There's some decision with the chief, to the schools, to the elders, and the church have their own decisions. And the drippings, I'm just like expressing the cry from the, the, the one that we have the Launia Sea and the, the one with the Cup Cup. And as you can see, just, that's just a frigate bed, just two frigate beds and just one opposite each other. Like if you go the opposite direction, you will face the consequences of a storm. Because the fr frigate, when it flows in the air, it's, it represents there's a storm coming. So like if you go the opposite way or if you go against the rules of the of the big man in the villages, they look at it as just half, yeah, not fully. You will end up in a wrong way. And the drippings, it's just a cry. The background of the painting, I'm putting it more like the scorching of the sun. By practicing that, it reminds us of our roots and of our identity.